Today I fucked up by saving a cat which did not need saving. This did indeed happen today. She's cuddling with me while I type this so all is apparently forgiven. Was a rough afternoon though. So I have a cat named Barbara and me and her have a very very special bond. I've never had a cat or any other animal be so attached to me. Today I was at my computer and I have a spare computer chair right next to mine for Barbara. She was sitting there and then decided for some reason to jump up on the desk. I let her, Barbara loves me a lot but she doesn't take well to being handled. Picking her up always generates some over the top reaction. Which is why what happened next was so terrible. I was distracted by something on my screen and next thing I know Barbara is chewing on something, something brown. I scan the desk and all I see is an open container of Whoppers. Is she eating chocolate? I said to myself. I freaked out. Remember, this is a cat that does not like to be handled. I have never had to do anything like this but I grabbed her, put her on my lap, grabbed the back of her neck, the scruff, with one hand while quickly prying her jaws open with the other. She was only eating a couple actual cat treats, whiskerlickens, that had somehow been on my desk. I felt so so bad. I let her go immediately and found the other treats on my desk, gave her those. She sat down on her spare chair and pointedly lay down facing the other way in protest. She then avoided me for about 7 hours. But I think we are friends again. Poor Barbara! Exclamation mark. Too long didn't read thought cat was eating something bad so jammed my hands down her throat, she was only eating cat treats. She's precious. Also while she was mad at you for a little while, that is better than losing her completely or the stress of having to take her to the vet for something serious. You thought she was in danger and acted appropriately to that. We need a picture of Barbara. The panic every pet owner understands what are you eating what are you eating? I'm sure many of us have made the same mistake, smiley face. Sounds like you're lucky you survived without bloodshed. While neither of my girls minds being handled, trying to give them any sort of meds is a dangerous task. I believe because I've always been respectful of Barbara and never just pick her up at random, she was mostly in shock. If it went on for another few seconds I'm sure the 20 claws would come out. Today I fucked up by forgetting who feeds me and puts a roof over my head. I work at a company with about 200 employees out in the field with a small central office of 15 people. I was requested to do an audit of equipment in the field, employee in possession, and location. I was already having a long day before I even started this little simple audit. I get to the end and have a couple of names I don't recognize and information missing. I go to the owner's office since he has owned the company for 40 years and personally hired every employee to some degree. This guy is the best, he literally cares about every employee like they are family. I start going down the list and he gives the answers as I expected. I get to the last name, he looks up at me with the most confused and sad look I have ever seen, and says, that me. I pretty much want to die. He says hi to me every morning when he walks in. That sweet old man hired me on a casual summer job, let me turn it into an internship, and then hired me when I graduated. This man flew me in his personal puddle hopper plane to a job site a state away so I could be home to my wife for dinner last week. I actually attempted to resign today because I couldn't even look him in the eye. This man has given me everything and in return I couldn't even remember his last name. Too long didn't read, not remembering the last name of the owner of my small company. As you said you already had a long day before the audit. Things easily get forgotten when tired. Or let him know you're mortified. Chances are he's going to find it more endearing than offensive if he's the kind of boss you said he was. Ask him out to lunch and just tell him the stress of 2020 has gotten to you and you're looking forward to the holidays and time off coming up, if you have any coming up. Let him know how much it bothers you that you didn't know. I am sure that would make him feel better. Just go to him and apologize and say you appreciate all he's done for you, for your own sakes if nothing else. Today I fucked up reminding my wife where Christmas meat comes from. This happened a couple of hours ago. This year we're doing a small scale Christmas on account of Covid, 
so our food shops are kind of idea sessions too. So today we were at the supermarket and browsing the meat aisle. Now, I'm a big meat eater but I also make stupid jokes when I'm bored. Not really funny, just verbal diarrhea. So she gestured to the hams and I said oh no. Imagine being a poor piggy. They'd never see Christmas. She froze. What did you say? I said, imagine being a pig. You'd never see Christmas. Or a turkey. She goes super quiet for the rest of the shop. Kind of down too. We check out and she suddenly has to go to the bookstore. Can't it wait? We're done. No. This is important. She makes a big deal about it. We agree to meet at the car. The whole way home she's flicking through her new book, Vegetarian Christmas. Too long didn't read, I made a joke about pigs never seeing Christmas. Now I'm getting a vegetarian holiday. Update, yes, she knew where meat came from. It was the idea of animals missing out on Christmas that did it. She doesn't think she can handle turkey or ham this year. Scratching my head. Does your wife think that pigs and turkeys would underscore celebrate Christmas underscore if only they were alive for it? You hock blocked yourself. Oh my, you really did a number on her there. Hope there's some good stuff in that book for the big day. We did a mushroom nut roast wellington one year, that was really good. I'm a vegan but my wife is full carnivore. I couldn't guilt trip her if I tried though. She'd kill it, skin it, gut it and cook it herself. Kids might experience some cognitive dissonance growing up. Did she not realize where the meat came from before this? I thought everyone knew that food comes from the food factory where everything is created in pristine clean room-like conditions.